60 barrels. So in order to get one of our batches done, we have to brew two to three times a day. I don't know if you guys do any brewing at all, but it's a very long, tedious process. So our brewers don't get in here until by about 8 o'clock in the morning. They don't leave until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a really long process. Uh, we're actually looking, you know, thinking about putting cots in just because it's, you know, it's, it's that long a brewing process. And uh, we brew head high probably about three times a week. However, uh, we have to have time for to brew other beers as well. You know, we can't just brew head high all the time. Uh, but, but we are expanding, we are working on that. We took over the warehouse next door. Uh, we're thinking of putting a brewing system over there as well. We'll see, we're, we're still not sure what's going to happen. All the are getting bigger and uh, you know, bigger and better every day. It's the, the idea of running through the hopper here is to crack the grains. The idea of cracking the grains exposes starches uh, that are inside the grains that during the mashing process the starch can be converted to sugars. So once it's through this here, uh, the hopper system will bring it up through this pipe here <clears throat> and deposit it in a brisk ton behind it. From there, when the brewers are ready to match in, they'll turn on the secondary loader that runs from the bottom there, and then it goes through the wall and up over the brewing pots right in the match line. So once we have all of our grain into the hopper, uh, we don't have to worry about any more heavy lifting. It's, we have pumps, we have augers, we have forklifts, and everything else moving around for us. Uh, that pipe runs right over here through the brewery, and it's deposits right in the match line. So from there, we'll add hot water. For our purposes, our water's anywhere between 150 and 155 degrees. Any sort of variation in that temperature will give you a different beer. So I, like, like I said, I don't know if you guys homebrew at all, but trying to make the same beer twice is very difficult because you have to hit your temperatures exactly the same all the time. So any sort of variation in temperature, let alone rain or anything else, will give you a different beer. Uh, so like I said, we'll lay it up between 150 and 155 degree water uh, to our mash, and it will mash for about an hour. During that time, there's enzymes such as alpha beta amylase and beta amylase that are working on the mash, converting all the starches to sugars. Once that's all completed, we'll take this now called wort and we'll bring it from the mash tun and put it in the kettle. Any grain that's left over, there's a hole on the very bottom there. We'll shove all the grain out through that bowl and put in 55 gallon drums. From there, we'll put the drums outside and local farmers come pick it up. Our fermentations vary. Uh, depends on the amount of sugar that you have in each, in each batch of beer. Uh, so if you have less sugar, which means, means less work for the yeast, it'll take a little bit less time. So you know, we, for a single fin, we probably ferment that out a little bit over a week. But as beers get heavier, you start to do a stout, you start to do a quarter. It takes two weeks, three weeks, and it keeps on going. We do sell at over 200 locations in New Jersey as far as draft goes. Uh, you know, we sell all the way from Hunterdon County, all the way down Atlantic or Salem. Uh, we haven't done New York or Philly markets yet. Although our kegs have been appearing in New York and Philly, uh, we, we're not permitted to sell in there. So in order for that our beers to be getting there right now, uh, somebody must be coming to our brewery or going to another bar or something and getting these beers and uh, bringing them to, to those bars there. But uh, uh, otherwise, we don't we don't have distribution abilities for either of those two cities yet.